Good afternoon. Royal Hotel, may I help you? May I speak to Miss Rosie, please? I'm sorry, she isn't here right now. Who's calling, please? Eric, Eric Pando. Is there any message I can take, Mr. Eric? No, I'll call her back later. Thank you for calling Royal Hotel. Yeah, no problem. Would you like a drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. I never drink coffee at night. Why not? It keeps me awake, and it's not good for our health. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. It's also beneficial for our skin, can protect us from headaches, especially cancer. I don't like tea. There are so many kinds of tea. Maybe we should shop around and try to find one you like because coffee is bad for you. That's a good idea. Do you want to go with me? Of course. Let's go. How about a drink tonight? Yes, I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the 1900 bar? All right. What time? Is half past eight okay? Yes, that's fine. <laughs> I will meet you there. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Okay, I'm in a hurry. Bye now. See you there. Okay, bye. You sound terrible. What's the matter with you? I have a sore throat. You should rest your voice. I know. It hurts when I talk. What are you taking for your throat? Hot water and honey. Um, it can ease your hurt. Are you going to work today? No, I'm staying home. Good idea. I'll feel better tomorrow. I hope so. Relax. Bye. Thanks so much. Have a nice day. Okay. Hello. Look, I just bought this new coat. How do you feel about it? Oh, it looks terrific. Nice. When you like it? How much was it? Seventy dollars. Oh, that's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. I had to take it among the crowd there. Terrible, but it was worth it. Where did you get it? In May on London Street. I like to shop there too. They always have really nice sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a big sale on shirts if you're interested. Great. I also need some now. Let's make them out of stock now. Go with me. Of course. Wow. What a beautiful day. Yes. There's not a cloud, some wind in the sky. What's the temperature? I don't know exactly. Maybe about 22 degrees? Wonderful. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Yes. Fall is my favorite season. It's cool in fall and it's comfortable to wear. Wonderful sets of clothing I like. Mine too. I can do a lot of outdoor activities without thinking of the weather. Yes, 
The weather is almost perfect. Look! Leaves are falling! They are so pretty when they change colors. It's a splendid scenery. I love this so much. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear my heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the supermarket. For what? I have to buy some, like, papers, pencils, crayons, to finish my project about ideal technology to solve the pollution problem in the world. Wow, cool. Could you buy some bread for me? Sure, how much would you like? Just one loaf of bread. Here's the money for the bread. Okay, I'll be back in 30 minutes unless I get blown away. Be careful, baby. Yes, thanks. Do you like snow? No, I hate it most. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes. But it makes driving more difficult, you know? I don't want to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. Oh no! I have to drive to work! How far is it to work? Six miles? Are we going to get much snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no! Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? Of course, here's the keys. Keep it well, please. I will, don't worry. Thanks so much. When is your vacation? It starts next week. I'm really looking forward to those days off. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you know how to swim? Not really. I haven't attended any swimming courses. Then why do you choose to go to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. <laughs> what? Just that? Really? Yep. And we are also interested in enjoying the atmosphere of the sea there. Oh, I'm gonna go play soccer now. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. Don't worry. You're the best in my heart. What time does the game begin? Uh, nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? Sorry, but today is the busiest day in my week. I can't go with you now. I apologize. Okay. Tomorrow, we'll prepare for your vacation. So, see you later. Okay. I hope your team wins. Fighting. Thank you. My son is graduating from high school today. Oh, my second daughter is graduating next year, too. How old is she? She's 16. <laughs> I remember it when she was a baby. She's so intelligent and pretty. Time goes fast. It's been 16 years since then. Yes, we're getting old. Why do you say that? 
Why not? It's the truth. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right, but we got married 25 years ago, and now we turn 50 years old. It's over half our life. Yes, it's true in terms of our physical health, but when it comes to mental health, we have to be still young. Think positively. And now, let's go shopping. I'll show you some special styles which are designed for you to make your life more colorful. Stand up, please. They decide to go shopping to beautify their life. Oh, it's March 10th, which is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Thomas. I'm going to his house after dinner. I wonder whether I know him. How old is he? He's 26. Hmm. He is older than me by one year. Is he handsome? Yes. And especially, he's so nice to everyone. He has helped me very much with my assignments and some stuff in life. Is he single? No. He's married and has two kids now. Oh... That's too bad. He's not born for me. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> so, what are you getting Thomas for his birthday? I haven't come up with anything yet. If you were me, what would you buy? What about a t-shirt? You can go to buy a special t-shirt for him. It is comfortable and polite enough to wear for work and travel as well. Yes, it was also my thought, but I got him one last year. Oh, all right, let me think. I want to get something different for him. How about a briefcase? He can use it to tidy his documents. Good idea. His bag is getting too old. And it's something he can use every day, I guess. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Hello? Hello? Is Jerry there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this... Five six seven eight nine zero. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some green tea, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With a little sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. This is a nice flat. Mm. There's a living room. There's a kitchen. Two bedrooms. And two bathrooms. And there's a bidet. What is a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet. And even if I don't know what it is, they will be very jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm, it's quite small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any bowls? Yes, there are. Good. 
Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Hmm. There aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. Nice. I want to see the toilet. Where is your meeting? In Carnaby, London. How are you going? By air. Do you like to fly? Sure. It is fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. Really? Flying is very safe. Maybe, but I don't feel safe in a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. Ah, wait. Wait a few minutes to call the airline company. Good afternoon, London Airline. How can I help you? I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 100. And your name, please? Maria Smiths. Yes, you're booked on Flight 100. Please check in at the airport an hour before departure time. Thank you. Done. Hope you have a nice meeting. Thank you. Are you free for Friday night? I might be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Chinatown. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? I'm not sure yet. We might go to a restaurant, but we'll probably go to the cinema to watch the latest movie. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Welcome, then. Sure. If I'm in town, I'll call you and let you know. Oh, Rosie, long time no see. Oh, hello. How are you? Great, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very caring and kind, but they all do it first. I guess we will have to see. Well, I wish the best of luck to you. Thanks. I have to go now. Bye, and see you later. Goodbye. Take care. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the cupboards. You're right, thanks. Where are you going? To the market. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Good. We need to buy a load of goods. There is a new healthy food store right up the road. You should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We all put on a little weight. Maria! Oh, hi, Eric. How are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. Bank closes in 20 minutes. Is the bank near here? Yes, it's only three kilometers away, on London Street. Okay, get in, I'll take you. Are you sure? It's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, Eric. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, 
Sorry, I'm late. I missed the subway. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. Achoo! Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the pharmacy. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some... a chew? I don't know if they sell a chew there, but I'll check. When can I see Dr. Smith? She won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 8 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see if she's available. I'm sorry, but she's tied up at 9 o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? That's perfect. I'll come at 1.30 p.m. Thank you. Excuse me, may I see your license? I'm afraid I left it at home. In that case, you'll have to take it to the police station within four days. But, but why? You were speeding. But I was only doing 60. There's a 50 kilometer per hour speed limit on this road. Is there? I didn't see the sign. Well, we've been following you. So you were doing 62? No, we were doing 80 kilometers per hour, and we couldn't catch you. Waitress, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it on one bill? No, separate it, please. Here are your bills. Fifty dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Oh, uh, sorry, this is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's twenty dollars. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, where to London and when, this Sunday morning or afternoon. The afternoon was about 4 o'clock. There's one at 4.30. Thank you, that sounds perfect. I'll take it. Good morning. Michael Law Office, may I help you? Yes, may I speak to Mr. Michael, please? I'm sorry, he isn't here yet. May I take a message? Yes, could you ask him to call Maria Ponda? How would you spell your last name? P-O-N-D-A What's your phone number? Mr. Michael should have it. Well, he doesn't. Okay, it's 568-47910. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? 568-47910. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome.
Miss Rosie, I'm Dr. Smith. Oh, Doctor, how is he? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Oh no, he's always been afraid of operations. Don't worry, if we operate now, he'll be alright. Oh, Doctor, do you really have to? I'm so afraid. He's lost a lot of blood. If we don't operate, he'll die. Oh, please do whatever you have to. I'll drive you there. Thanks. I'm going to apply for a loan. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It is getting worse and it's ten years old. How much will a new car cost? Uh, about $20,000. Wow, that's expensive. I know. That's why I need a loan. What kind of work do you do? I'm a receptionist at a hotel. Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting, and I can't make much money. That's right, it pays very little. I think I should look for another job. You should, but it's not easy to find one. If I keep looking, I'll get one. Yeah, you're right. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Maria seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden to plant some plants? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a job near here? Yes, I'll work for a big company near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it there, do you? Yes, this is a very good place for both of us. Is there a souvenir store near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the souvenir store? To buy a birthday present. Whose birthday is it? My niece's. She's five. That's nice. Will you get some colored paper for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. I'm trying to find a birthday present for my mother. Yes. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Could you help me? Right. I'll show you some pendants. <gasps> no, I bought a pendant for her last birthday. Maybe in England, then. These are made of gold. Yes, I like this one. What's the stone? It's a gem, sir. It's only $1,400. Oh, well, you could show me some bracelets, then. Can you recommend some... Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh, yes. How old is she? She'll be eight years old on Saturday. Patton are still very popular. Hmm. I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll instead? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? She's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing. A do-it-yourself kit where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Hello, can I 
get some tickets for plays? Yes. Is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Romeo and Juliet, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Three, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, there are three seating sections, front, middle, and the back. How much is it in the middle section? Uh, Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little too expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. Hmm, that's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At 9.30. Thank you. Are you ready? Mary is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at 7.30. What's the time now? About 7.10. There's no hurry. It only takes 10 minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Mary to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. I thought the movie was terrific, wasn't it? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on. It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a comedy once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. Hello? Maria, is that you? Yes, uh uh-huh. Who's this? It's Michael. Michael? Michael who? What do you mean, Michael who? Michael Dustin, of course. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for an hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but, uh, I, uh, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 16. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for 10 years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was falling in love with Rosie, who doesn't like smoking, and the other time was when I had a bad sore throat, but I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. Did you hear about the Dustin family? No, what happened? Mrs. Dustin passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Stomach bleeding, I heard. That's a terrible thing. She went to the hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Has she been suffering from the stomach disease? 
Yeah, she had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? She had two operations, but they weren't effective. I feel sorry for her. Have you heard about the good news in the Mary family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Mary went to the hospital last night and gave birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's really good. But they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they've wanted a girl for a long time. Was it natural childbirth? No, she had a C-section. Maria! What a surprise. What are you doing here? Rosie! I don't believe it. I'm going to see my cousin. She will marry this weekend. How about you? I'm going to visit my parents. When is your cousin's wedding? Saturday. Wow! This Saturday is the 40th wedding anniversary of my parents' wedding, too. This is a surprise. Anyway, where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from Platform 4 over there. How long will you... Now leaving from Platform 4, train for London. That's my train, I have to go. Sorry we didn't have more time to talk. That's okay. I'll see you when you get back. Have a good time, and say congratulations to your parents. Daniel! Oh, hi, Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been to London for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? It was wonderful. It was very good going around downtown and shopping. And I saw the Sun Swing game at Sky Tower. It seems that London is a very exciting city. My brother Bruno was there too. You've met Bruno, haven't you? Sure, I met him when he was here in Birmingham last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching art material? Yes, as a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great! How's everything going with the kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes, they visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both cute. I haven't seen them for a long time. They must be really big now. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party there together. That's a good idea! Lisa, this is Maria. I want to return the book I borrowed from you last week. Will you be home at about 7 o'clock? Uh, yes, I will. I'll be cooking dinner. Oh, well, then I won't come over at 7. Well, why not? I don't want to disturb you. Don't worry, you won't disturb me. Okay, I will see you at 7. My daughter is going to university. That's great, but it must cost you a lot of money. Yes, but she has a grant. A grant? What's a grant? The government is giving her money. To pay for her education? That's right. Does it pay for everything? No, she has a loan too. What's the difference between a loan and a grant? You have to pay back the loan. A grant is a present. Would you?
Would you like to go to the ballad concert? Well, I'd like to, but when is it? On Sunday evening. What a pity, I'm busy on Sunday. Maybe you could change your plans? It's going to be a really great concert. Maybe I will. I wouldn't want to miss it. Great, I'll see you Sunday. God bless you. Thank you. Do you have a cold? Yes, that's why I'm sneezing so much. I hope you feel better soon. I get a bad cold every winter. Are you taking anything for your cold? I'm taking aspirins. Does it work? Yes, but it makes me sleepy. You'd better not drive then. What are you looking for? My coat. I'm going to the doctor. Why? What's the matter with you? I'm not sure, but I don't feel well. Do you have a fever? No, but I have a pain in my chest. What time is your appointment? 8.30. I'm going now. Bye. Goodbye. I hope it's nothing serious. Thanks. See you. Can you help me, officer? I'll try what's wrong. I can't get into my car. Where are your keys? They're in the car. Don't worry, I can open it. How can you do that? With a coat hanger. It's easy. Where can we get a coat hanger? There's one in the police car. Wait here. Thanks a lot. You're very kind. Hello. Hi. Where do you want to go? 80 Maple Street, please. 80 Middle Street? No, Maple Street. Maple Street. Let's see, is that near St. Middle Street? I don't know. I've been here only one week. Oh, where are you from? Melbourne. I hate to get up in the morning. Me too. What time do you get up? At five o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I have to go to work by six. I don't get up until 7.30. You're lucky. What do you do? I own a small shop. What time does your shop open? At eight o'clock. It's too hot to death. Yes, it must be 43 degrees. I would like a bottle of Coca-Cola. I'll get you one. <sighs> Thanks. Mmm, this tastes so good. It does. Jeez, this hot weather makes me lazy. Me too. Get me another drink. I guess if you're lazy, no one else is allowed to be. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Hey, hey. What's wrong? There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Are you? 
I can hear you very clearly. Hello, hello. This payphone might be out of order. I'll call you again with another phone. Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. We should get in touch with the company phone, the phone company. Hey, what's wrong with the phone? Listen to this peculiar noise. It doesn't sound like a dial tone. It must be out of order. We better notify the phone company. How do we do that? We can't use the phone. Let's go next door and use our neighbor's phone. He's always complaining about people. I don't want to ask any favors of him. How about across the street? I forgot about Mrs. Lisa. I'm sure she'd let us use her phone. How long does it take to get a visa? It depends on the season. Anywhere from three to six weeks. What do I need to do? Fill out an application form and wait. Would there be a long waiting period? Not if you don't run into any government delays. Well, this woman may be suitable for the job, but is she energetic enough? Yes, she certainly seems to have lots of energy. Mm, she's got to be ambitious too, is she? Yes, she has plenty of dreams to develop herself in this career. And we really need a flexible sort of person. Do you think she is? Mm, she seems to be determined enough, but she's a little tough. Well, I guess we'll give her a try and see how she works. What are you so happy about? You're grinning from ear to ear. Mary and I are going out this weekend. Oh yeah? That's so fast. Great. Which night are you going to see her, Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. She isn't in town on Sunday. She's going to visit a friend in Melbourne. What are you going to do on Saturday? I don't know yet. Do you have any ideas? How about taking her out to an Italian restaurant? I've heard that she likes Italian food. That's a great idea. What are you going to wear on your date? I'm going to wear my new suit. That's too formal. Wear your jeans and a t-shirt. How about your new coat? Are you going to wear it on Saturday night? No, I haven't decided. Go ahead and wear it. Can I check in here for air from Brazil to Canada? Have you already had your ticket? Yes, here you are. Thank you. Can you put your luggage up here, please? Sure, I have three suitcases. We only allow two pieces. You'll have to pay an extra charge. Oh, can I carry this one with me? Uh, no, I'm sorry. It won't fit under your seat. That's $50. Here you are. Thank you. You can choose your seat. A window seat or aisle seat. I'd like a window seat, please. All right. Seat 20A. Here's your ticket and your boarding pass. Enjoy your flight. Good morning. Can I see your passport? Certainly. Here it is. Yes, that's all right. Have you got anything to declare? Yes, I have. I've got some wine and some cigarettes. How much wine have you got? 
a liter. That's all right. And how many cigarettes have you got? 200. Fine. What about perfume? Uh, no, I haven't. Good. Open your case, please. Pardon? Open your case, please. Open it now. Oh, dear. Look at this. You've got three bottles of whiskey, 400 cigarettes, and a lot of perfume. Does that mean I can't go? Well, hello, Mr. Daniel. You seem unusually happy today. I just became a father. Congratulations, a boy or a girl? You never saw such a cute girl. Eight pounds, four ounces, and as cute as a button. How's your wife? She's just fine. Where are you going? To Spain. Why are you going there? I'm going to learn Spanish. There's a school there that has an excellent program. Is learning Spanish going to be difficult? Yes. I have to study and practice a lot. Where is your school? It's in Barcelona. I'm jealous. I'll bet it's interesting. Yes, but I'm also really nervous. Where's David? He's behind the house. What is he doing? Washing his car. Again? Yes, he takes good care of his car. But he never cleans his room. I know, it's always dirty. And nothing is in order. You're right, his room is a mess. Maybe he should move into the car. This is a big menu. Yeah, what are you getting? Chicken, salad, and baked potatoes. I don't know what to get. They have very good turkey. I had turkey yesterday. How about steak? Perfect, I'll get steak and mashed potatoes. What vegetable are you getting? I'm not getting any. I don't like vegetables. I have some good news. What is it? Mary is going to have a baby. That's great! I'm so happy for her. Me too. Do you want a boy or a girl? A beautiful princess. When's the baby due? In the beginning of December. I'm going to phone Mary tonight. That's nice. Say hello for me. James! Mary! Do you work around here? Yes, I work in that building across the street. Really? What do you do? I work in law office. I'm a secretary. Oh, that's interesting. What about you? What do you do? I work at Duru Restaurant. Oh. Are you a cook? No, I'm a waiter. That's a really hard job. I don't envy you. Me neither. Do you live alone, James? No, I don't. I live with my family. How about you? I'm married now. I got married last year. Really? Congratulations! Who did you marry? 
His name's John. Oh, what does he do? He's a dentist. Oh, wonderful. I'm very happy for you. Your garden is really lovely. Thank you. I enjoy working in the garden. Do you do everything yourself? I trim the bushes and weed the flower beds myself. Who cuts the grass? Oh, it's so big, I hired one of the boys in the neighborhood to do it. Well, I must say he does a good job. Yes, his work is more than satisfactory. I'm very angry with my son, Tony. Why? What's wrong? He is not doing well in school. That's a surprise. Tony's a clever boy. Yes, but he never studied. Did you talk to his teachers? Yes, I did. What did they say? He's a nice boy, but he's very lazy. Maybe they're right. I'm afraid so. Have you thought about getting him a tutor? Maybe that's a good idea. I really want him to excel. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Oh no, I'm late. Where are you going? To the doctors. Can I drive you there? Sure, that will help. What's the matter with you? I have pain in my knees. I'm sorry to hear that. I've had it for weeks, and this is the first time that I could get in. My doctor is always so busy. I guess that's a good thing. It means a lot of people believe in him. Who is it? It's me. Don't have your key? No, let me in. What's in that box? What did you get? A new shirt. But you have a closet full of shirts. I know, but I needed a new one. What's wrong with all the other shirts? They're not this one! Let's go for a picnic. That's a great idea. Where shall we go? Let's go to the high hill. How far is it? About a mile. Is it a nice place? Sure. It has picnic tables and a beautiful lake. Good. I'll make some sandwiches. I'll bring some soft drinks and cookies. The kids will love it. We've got 10 inches of snow. Wow, that's terrific. What's so terrific about it? I'm going skiing. Skiing? Are you sure? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Maybe, but it's also risky. You need to live on the edge. Mary, you can't park here. It's a bus stop. Oh, we'll be back in a few minutes. It's okay. Oh, no, it isn't. You'll get a parking ticket if you leave it here. No, I won't. It's half past seven. All the traffic guards have gone home. Mary! Yes? Is this your car? I'm really 
really tired. Now I have to go home and cook. Do you make dinner every evening? Yes, I usually make dinner, and my husband washes the dishes. I will live alone, so I have to do everything. Sometimes I eat out, though. There are some good restaurants in my neighborhood. Where do you live? I live in the town center. That's good. There aren't any good restaurants near my house. Does your husband help you do housework much? Um, yes. He sets the table almost every night. And he makes our bed every morning. But I usually make all the meals. How about cleaning? Oh, we clean the house together every weekend. I tidy the rooms and he does the yard work. Your husband helps you so much. Does he help do the laundry too? Well, he's never helped me do the laundry. Hey Maria, have you finished the exam? Yes, I have. Woo. Was it hard? Well, yes, it was so difficult. Did you pass? I don't know. Mrs. Lisa didn't tell me. What questions did she ask? First, she asked me what my name was. That was easy, wasn't it? Yes, except I lost my mind. Then she asked me where I came from and how long it took me to get here from my country. And what else did she ask? She asked how long I'd been studying English here in Finland, and she asked how I would use English in the future. Yes, yes, go on. Then she asked me to tell her the difference between my country and Finland. Anything else? I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, she asked if I spoke any other languages. Is that all? Oh, there were a lot of other questions. She asked me what my hobbies were when I finished, when I visited Finland. Then I was asked to read a passage. What did she say at the end? Hmm, let's see. Oh yes, she asked me to tell you to go in right away. Well, see you tomorrow. I better go too. Oh, would you do me a favor? Sure. Would you call me tomorrow around five o'clock in the morning? Tomorrow's my sister's birthday. I want to give her a teddy bear. I have to pick it up the dry cleaning and pick up the cake from the bakery. Anyway, I have lots of things to do, but I'm not sure I can get up early. So you need a hand? Oh, can you? That would be great. Can you go to the mall and buy her a teddy bear, pick up the dry cleaning, and get the cake from the bakery? And what will you be doing? Sleeping, of course. Are you going t out with Tony tonight? Uh-huh. He's supposed to pick me up at 6 o'clock. What time is it now? Quarter to 5.30. You'd better get going. You're kidding. I haven't even taken a bath. Where are you going? We haven't made up our mind yet. Maybe to a restaurant, maybe to a cinema. Go and watch Godzilla. It's supposed to be interesting. Oh, maybe we will. I have heard King Kong is good, too. Well, I personally prefer Godzilla. I really should be going. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I'd like to go, but it depends. I might have to go to the store tomorrow and do some things. Can I let you know first thing in the morning? Okay, that would be all right. Oh, there's the phone. It must be Tony. Well, I'll be going. Call me tomorrow. I will. Have a good evening. You too.
Where is Lucy? She is in the bedroom. What is she doing? She is doing homework. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the cat? The cat is in the kitchen. What is the cat doing? The cat is sleeping. Where are you? I am in the living room. What are you doing? I am cleaning the house. Where are Tom and Anna? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are playing with toys and cars. Where is the dog? She is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. Who is she? She is my sister. What's her name? Her name is Anna. Where is she in this photograph? She's in London. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the Big Ben Tower. What can I do for you? Yes, please. I'm looking for a bag. What's your favorite color? It's brown. Sorry, we have no brown right now. Here is a nice bag. But this bag is orange. That's okay. Orange bags are very popular this year. Okay, I take this one. Excuse me, is this your bag? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. That bag is brown, and my bag is orange. <laughs>